Damon, I have two words for you. Rain, light. Not just three, I figured go for four more. This is like what clowns would have. <laughs> you know Damon's gonna be here in like two hours, right? So whatever you do, Mitch. Yo, good morning, you guys. So, after thinking about it for a while, I finally decided to put my back bumper back on. Here's why. One, it's so that I could put my stock exhaust back on, because if you guys know, my car is straight pipe, so it is ridiculously loud. I do love this bumperless look, and um, it's just something that we've all done for a while, like Damon, me, and Cartier. Time to try something new, you know? And this wing, by the way, is designed to fit around the bumper. That's why it has these grooves, because it's just designed to fit the bumper. We got the whole Rap Legends crew here today at my house, wrapping the rear bumper, taking the old wrap off. You guys remember this? Such an iconic rap. He hates it though. There's one slight problem. This is my factory exhausts, but I had to cut it up, like literally with a hacksaw, to make this aftermarket exhaust that I had on my car before I went bumperless. This part, like right here and on, used to be attached to here. And uh, we just cut it off and made this center section so we could just bypass the muffler. So now that doesn't exist, we have to go hunting for a new factory exhaust. I never thought I'd have to look so hard for a stock exhaust, but uh, that's where my life is at right now. So let's do this. You guys ready? Okay, so we're at RDB. I'll let you guys probably know what this is. I remember I came here a while ago. I had my M2 work done here. They have a whole stock pile of stock exhaust, factory exhausts. Wow. Oh, I already see like three of them. These people come to RDB and pretty much get these aftermarket exhausts and they throw them out and, and they get their factory exhaust and they just dump them here and never pick it up, so. See, this is a, this is a stock exhaust. This is another Huracan exhaust. I see another one down there. Oh, this is a Performante exhaust. Oh no, it's a McLaren. This is for McLaren 720S. Want gloves? Sure. I'd like to help, but I don't know where to start. You'd like to help, but you'd rather not, right? Yeah. Yeah. I feel how you feel, bro. I'm like, like, exactly. Great robbery. There you go. That's the most work I've done since middle school. Watch out! <laughs> I'm so out of breath right now. <laughs> I need a break. I need to take five. There's my uh, leftover, which is what we're gonna use to wrap this bumper that Deontay has been cleaning for the past three hours. Cause you know, I like to take my car off-roading. Okay, so we got the bumper all wrapped. But we're gonna head to AGX and I'll see you guys there. I don't think I Guess where we got this from? Jesus. Yeah. So we go to RDB. I, I, like I'm fully ready to pay them like a thousand dollars for an exhaust. They take me to their like back area. They have like 20 of these just sitting there. <laughs> That's an R8 exhaust. No, it's a Huracan exhaust. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, you're lying. You're lying. Is the camera on? Yeah. I'm lying. Uh, Why would you my heartbeat is at like 200 oh, beats per minute it. for a second. Those little poppers. Hold on, let me scare someone else. See that guy? He came over so aggressive. The antenna broke. First world problems, bro. What do you want to do? Like, check it off. Damn. You're taking that sanded stuff to heart. This is, yeah. this is your drift missile, bro. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, a drift missile with an open diff. Yeah. Seems legit. Turns out we we're missing a couple like bolts here and spacers that mount this exhaust because this exhaust is like literally 50 pounds heavier than this light titanium exhaust. So all this just for the rear bumper and exhaust and we're missing 
like pretty much half of it too. You could have at least cleaned the parts before you brought it over. Yeah, we're gonna have to wash all this, dude. You don't have to. No, no, where's the weed? Honestly, a big, like, like a way bigger, bigger headache right than I thought. Just Wonder where all that mud came from. I don't know. Viral videos of days gone by. So that million horsepower Mustang needs a new clutch. And this is the box million that the clutch horsepower. comes in. It's like a Pulp Fiction moment. Manic. This is literally like a piece of art. Manic. Wow. That's amazing. So this is a transmission. That's clutch. So what's wrong with this clutch? This clutch is worn out. Hey, look what I found laying around the shop. That's never getting old. Neither is it ever coming off your car. I'm sorry, Damon. I always love to check out some of the other cars that Avant Garde is working on. So this is getting a new exhaust, GT500. This Huracan, someone backed up into the bumper. No bumper? Yep, someone backed up into it. And we got this like psychedelic 720S. I guess the front bumper, front bumper is not done yet, but this is what it's supposed to look like with Tron lines and that unicorn nonsense. Suntosh motor, pretty cool. Here are the gaskets. So as far as my car, um, we got like half of the hardware missing and I have to look for them. I'm gonna bring this car back to AGX at like 5 p.m. today, well, 5, 5 p.m. tomorrow, and then try to get my rear bumper back on. It's gonna be interesting, because nobody's done it yet. And that wing is designed to fit with the back bumper, so uh, I don't know what we've been doing this whole time. Most people have been telling me that I should put my back bumper on and the car looks a lot better with the back bumper on. So I'm gonna do it first. The only thing I really do feel bad about is that I have to ditch the um, beautifully handcrafted titanium exhaust by R Speed. In a future time, I'll get a new titanium exhaust made to fit the factory bumper. But for now, this has to go. This R Speed exhaust was designed to fit around the cats I have on my car. And now that I don't have those anymore, um, it is just ear piercingly loud. Like I literally have to scream at the top of my lungs to talk to my passengers when I'm driving down the freeway. And if I do floor my car on Rodeo Drive, you'll be able to hear it at Avant Garde, which by the way is in Van Nuys. So I am pretty excited to be able to talk to my passengers again, eventually make another exhaust or get another exhaust that will be um, straight pipe. So this car will be once again loud, but I'm going to enjoy the peaceful, quiet sounds of AV10 for now. Hey, Alex. <laughs> What'd you He's say? An evil genius. If he had a white cat. Mark, you gotta hit the gym, man. I do not have to hit the gym. You gotta hit the gym. Lisa, please make Mark hit the gym. Oh, dude, calling out my girl on the vlog. That's low. <laughs> you can't be that weak. Um, I'm offended. I can't be that weak. I'm just complaining. I did it. Yeah, you're struggling though. Oh, my, my little legs were, were wavering. I'm kidding. I, I'm probably weaker than you. I have no oh, muscle. IPad, like oh yeah, Mitch uh, Mitch put that in for me yesterday. What? Mitch? Dun, 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 dun. You so know, I have an you, iPad mount now. You heard about the rain light. How many screws went into this, Mitch? Actually none. Don't worry, the camera's off. Right? Coolant on the ground? Uh, it's a lot of it, yeah. Wait, are you sure this isn't Hey, right. taste it. You can taste it if you want. I don't want to... I mean, cool. I don't want to touch it because last time Damon said this was coolant. Okay, I did not pee in the middle that is of coolant. his parking lot. That is coolant. Mark, would you ever let me do a burnout on the alignment rack? Uh, no, no. What if I get you a new alignment rack? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> How much does an alignment rack cost? 10 grand. Like five, ten, ten. Install. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 20, 20 grand. Oh, 20. Yeah, 20 grand. We mended. Thank God that wasn't on. No, it was on. <clears throat> Morning. We are back at Avant Garde Exotics. I took the wing off and the uh, rebar off because the stock exhaust has to go on and the uh, rebar gets in the way. But there's a slight problem. And the slight problem is that these struts that are like, like actually crucial. They're not just there for looks. They're actually crucial for the support and like the structural engineering of the wing. Don't fit with the bumper. So either we have to drill a hole in the bumper or punch new holes in the struts to make the X brace mount on. But that's why we have MarGyver. Uh, I figure, you know, with, with so, my advanced skills that we can easily pull some tape off. Get your license plate lights back. If you unplug these license plate lights, um, it'll show up like on the dash and I'll just keep chirping like, oh, your license plate lights are not working. So instead of unplugging them, I literally mummified them in tape. This is a definition of American laziness. This is why America's falling behind. My back. That's good. Oh, 
Thanks, One bro. Day. That was awesome. Huh? Mitch goes off to AutoZone. Five minutes later, he comes back and buys a really not Big just one, not just two, not just three. I figured, we'll go for four more. This is like what clowns would have. <laughs> well, you know Damon's gonna be here in like two hours, right? So whatever you do, Mitch, um, I had no part in this. Me and Mark, me and Mark are working on my car. I have my car to worry All about right, right now. I'll take the blame for the uh, the first one for whatever he's doing right now. Like that's on him, bro. Did Dave Uber his wheels to avant-garde? Where's the Uber? Oh, he literally Ubered his wheels. That's an Uber. I'm kind of offended, Dave, that you're not going to keep my pink wheels. Um, but let's check these out. Fancy. Dave's at the airport. That means you literally have like an hour. Oh, this horn is like... The real deal. It's gonna be a is real it, something. Is this Lamborghini is gonna sound like a freight train coming at you? This horn is so loud, it has its own compressor. I'm holding it right now. Wow. There we go. So, we... I took apart the airbox on my car, and there's literally a pistachio in here. That means this pistachio shell somehow went through here, got sucked in, channeled all the way through, and then probably sat in this air box. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> what the hey, back, Damon! Hey, Damon, what about you? Damn. Rain. Light. Damon, I just want you to know that I had no part in this, so please don't, like, please don't do anything to me. If anything, blame this guy right here. Whoa, whoa! Actually, it was all Mark's idea. So I cleaned the ever living out of my air filters. They're like, these were once like literally black. Now it's like white again, sort of. And uh, Damon's wing makes a perfect drying, uh, drying rack. So this is what Mitch did. I still have the horn. I also still have the car alarm. But now I have this. <laughs> so good. So you literally came to work just to put that horn on Damon's car and now you're leaving work? I would say that was the highlight of the day. Yeah, I, I approve of that. I approve of that. He was better off with just talking about the rain line. <laughs> so fun fact number 337. Because you have lost the bolts for that, your original exhaust. That bolt right there that holds up my exhaust. This, well, this is the bolt that is uh, used for the cylinder, cylinder head, head on Gallardo. a Gallardo. You know, fun fact number 338, it's not pronounced Gallardo, it's Gallardo. Not in this country, bro. It's even more exciting, because the length of those is a little look bit at wrong. The, look at the garbage that's just coming out of my car. Confetti, we yeah. got a mixture of some dirt. Oh, we got a burnt pistachio shell. You actually missed the, uh, we blew out all of the, I think it's Fruity Pebbles. I'm not up on what my cereal. What are Fruity Pebbles? I'm not, I'm, I don't even know what Fruity Pebbles Isn't are. Isn't that like Rice Krispies, but are, they're colored? Oh, Lucky Charms. No, 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 not Lucky Charms. I think you actually had Fruity Pebbles. Fruity, I don't know what they are, but okay. All that we have left to do is put this bumper on and put the wing on, but here's the problem. These things, which is what pretty much that wing attaches to, is too big for the slot that it was supposed to fit through. It kind of needs to like stretch this out a little bit. It needs to like work it a little bit, you know? See? It's kind of dirty. These things, oh, actually, never mind. It's, it's going through. Never mind, it's not going through. It's not going through. And what happens when it does, Choi? Then what happens? Then, uh... Well, there's a reason why we all call you MacGyver, right? Oh. Surprisingly, ha, it fits. Bobby, I'm so proud of you. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I like the bumperless look when it first, like when I first did it and everything. But this bumper is like really cool. So I don't know. I kind of really like it. And plus, when this wing goes on, it's gonna look even better. So we have two little light bars that used to light up. That used to light up like the exhaust and everything. Why? The car actually looks so good with the back bumper on. You think? You, buddy. You. That looks like a rap soccer. <laughs> I just missed a bumper. Yeah, I get that. I missed a bumper. I think I think it's gonna look really cool with the bumper on. 
and then the big wing. Yeah. I have new merch being made just for you. Show me. On DDE. New artwork. No, you can't, I can't. I can't show the they camera. Can't see it yet. I can't show the camera. Do you want? Do you want to show them? Do you want to show them? We'll keep it a secret. Okay, I'm so, so I'm so sorry. These guys can see. What do you think? I like it. Dude, it looks like an S2000. Oh, oh! Mark, it does. Don't do them like that. How do you think, Alex? It does look like an S2000. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Once we're done with this, like super super quick, can we do my whole transmission service? And then we got to do uh, tires. Mr. Dave's tires. Yay! And we got to take the wheels off his car. Yeah, the wheels are coming off the Huracan. And it's getting new tires. I wonder why I even opened up at nine in the morning. Really <laughs> Midnight <laughs> club. Yeah, I should just come in. Midnight Mark, they started calling you in the vlog. I saw the comments. Dude, how many nicknames do I legitimately have? You're a long list. Oh, you should be merch. Okay. We're gonna take one moment real quick and address the huge debate that's going on right now, which is, is my car all wheel drive or four wheel drive? And I blame this debate on Dave, because on the last video, he said my car was four wheel drive. I'm holding my center shaft. Without this, my car is not four wheel drive. Dang. I never thought I'd see Alex holding his shaft. If you guys pay attention, Alex just said, is my car all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive? It's, it's one of the two. My car is originally four-wheel drive. It is a 610 dash four. However, Mark and I took this center shaft out, which is what delivers the power from the engine to the front of the wheel. So that there literally, there's nothing going to the front of the wheel. So my car is two-wheel drive. All-wheel drive, I'm sorry. You guys know what I meant. Yes, my car is two-wheel drive. Please stop asking me, although I do blame Dave for all of it, so. What did I say that? Did I actually say that? It's Alex Choi gonna take Damon. All wheel drive. All wheel drive. I didn't say that, didn't I? He did. I was talking too much. I didn't even notice my wing is back on the car. You're hey. welcome. Thank you. I'm doing this because I want to put wheels on the R8. <laughs> it's the only reason why I'm helping. I don't normally help out. Just so you don't feel bad, Damon, you're not really helping right now. <laughs> So this no, all that. works. You what this you guys create and then okay, uh, okay. Mark needs to take a chill pill. The only thing that's like stopping me right now is this X thing. Cross brace. Cross bars. Cross cross brace. Cross brace. Cross, brace, brace, cross bars. bars. X brace. Whatever the hell you want to call it. <laughs> Propellers. Uh, Propellers. <laughs> We're gonna say it wrong. Let's say it wrong. True. How am I doing, Mark? You couldn't do this without me, could you? I'm just waiting on Mark to say some <laughs> about Bobby. <laughs> oh! The camera's on. I love Bobby. He makes me a better man. Put it where they're supposed to be, Mark. Uh, I don't want to scratch the bumper. You can scratch it, it's clear, broad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He got, got aggressive. <laughs> so close. I got a great idea. What is so your great cut idea? Everything. Let's Why don't we just cut a bumper? notch? In my uh, $10,000 Lamborghini bumper? Yeah, no. Whatever. Bring forth the Dremel. You mean your $10,000 <sighs> Lamborghini bumper that you drove the entire car through the mud? <laughs> Why not? So how are we going to do this, Mark? Well, you're going to have to watch the next video to find out. I'll see you guys later. Plasti dipping wheels as fast as possible. What do you think? It's sick. I saw the preview yesterday. What? So. Me abusing the tire slayer. Okay.